My father is a gregarious, generous, really charismatic force. He's extremely generous, warm, loving. The best friend anyone could ever want. A person with a huge heart and a profound commitment to philanthropy. Brilliant, accomplished, creative. Um, I can't stop, that's the problem. <laughs> I first came to China in 1980 with my wife and we knew then in 1980 that it would rejoin uh, the world of nations uh, as a leader, which it has done. When it comes to China, a lot of people sit there and they say, well, maybe we should do this about China, maybe we should do that with China. Howard doesn't think about it, he does it. I think that really the pinnacle of the work he's done over in China is the work he's done founding and building the Milstein Medical Asian and American Partnership Foundation. He provides not only funding for, uh, for fellowship training and also uh, supporting the cutting edge uh, clinical research, uh, but also he provides his own input uh, how to make this work. He's probably one of the smartest people I know, uh, maybe the smartest. He tends to have insights that still amaze me. A U.S. foundation funding medical research in China, improving the lives of Chinese, ultimately improving the lives of Americans, is a way that we strengthen the U.S.-China relationship. We were all thrilled when Howard was notified that he'd be receiving the Marco Polo Award. It's the highest uh, award given to a non-Chinese person. An incredible achievement and, and a great experience. We were incredibly proud of the work my father had done being recognized by the Chinese government. Howard is one of the great philanthropists of America. Philanthropic activities in healthcare, medicine, education, culture. He does a lot in the medical field that has saved thousands of lives all over the world year after year. His understanding and knowledge is quite remarkable for someone who hasn't had formal training from the bottom up. The bulk of his philanthropic uh, giving are in areas where he can provide leadership and expertise and bring change about in ways other than just making a uh, financial commitment. I, I love my dad and I'm incredibly grateful for uh, everything he's given me, but also everything he's given the broader community and the world. I love him, I respect him, I honor him, and there is nothing I would not do for him. Howard, my congratulations on being honored by the China Institute. This acknowledgement and award are much deserved. I love you. Howard, I am so proud of you, tonight and always. I love you.